Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slakey and Spencer Hughes on the Daybreak Show. Right now, we're going to check in with Love, Inc. And Janet Means is on the phone line. Morning, Jan. How you doing? Good morning. I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Well, I like to uh, have uh, great groups in that do a lot for the community, uh, especially updates when it comes to big events that they are tied to. And we have talked over the last couple of months about Love, Inc., the Love, Inc. golf tournament, which is always a fun, fun time. But unfortunately, because of coronavirus, uh, put the put that on the back burner for this year. Um, but still, there is opportunities and the need to support Love, Inc. Uh, through different ways. Is that right? Yes, that's uh, that's correct. Um, yeah, we were actually, you know, the the tournament was um, scheduled for July twentieth, and then we were thinking we might be able to push it out to September October, but it just there was no way to really make that work either. So yeah, yeah it's it's being canceled for this year, but we will, you know, we're looking forward to next year. Um, but in the meantime, you know, outside of having a really, really fun day, the main purpose of the golf tournament is to provide um, funding for Love, Inc. Um, so they can support uh, to support our operational expenses as well as um, the many ministries that we work on with our partner churches. And uh, those ministries include things like providing um, items for those in need in Mason County, and that's things like uh, kitchenware and blankets, sleeping bags, uh, bedding, furniture, firewood, and much, much more. And although uh, we have wonderful, loving, caring volunteers who are always there for us and have been amazingly supportive um, throughout the COVID crisis, we also have a small staff and operational expenses and some supplies that can't be donated um, that need to be funded throughout the year. So because of that, um, you know, with not having this fundraiser, it's a pretty big impact on our organization. So we were thinking of asking all of our sponsors and donors from the past years if they could please consider making a donation to Love, Inc. to help support the amazing organization and the great work that they um, do for our community and with our partner churches and all our local charities and organizations. Well, it certainly is a trying time for uh, everybody, but nonprofits are especially hard hit. Uh, Talking with just people around during the uh, lockdown and the stay-at-home orders, a lot of folks um, took the time to really go through their homes, um, clean out things that they no longer wanted, and then kept a collection because different donation places were not accepting donations. So now is now a good time to get in touch too? And and if people have things at home to bring in to you, is that another way that we can help out? Absolutely. And um, yeah, we have had people bringing um, items into our warehouse on Coda and Ford um, since, I don't know, maybe in the middle of uh, kind of the shutdown, because that's exactly what people are doing. They're going through and just kind of purging out old things that, you know, they're not using anymore and items that are still usable. But um, so they've been bringing items down to our warehouse and we are, the warehouse is open. Uh, I believe it's Tuesday through Thursday from 10, mm, 10 to three, I believe I can double check with Leanna, but um, yeah, that's the, that's what we would really appreciate if people still have items that they'd like to bring in, we'd be more than happy to take those. And just to be uh, on the safe side, they can always call the loving office at three six zero four six two five six eight three and make an appointment to bring things to bring things by. One thing I just thought of while you were talking and going through that list was the firewood. And now is a great time to start trimming back those trees that you may have. Cause you know, we, we need firewood. It's yep. in the fall and the winter and nobody wants to go out, cut down trees at that point, but now's a great time to get them cut down, uh, help maybe your, um, defensive barriers around your property lines too, in case we have wildfire seasons, but then get that all dried out and, uh, an opportunity to help out many homes that, that for, for many, it, home uh, wood fire is, is one of the only heating sources. Yes, that's a really good point, Jeff. And we have a huge need uh, of firewood, you know, during the winter time. And so if people are doing that and, you know, making, uh, using this time to clear and clean off their properties and that sort of thing, and they have excess firewood, we would really, really appreciate that donation. So again, they can just call our office and we'll schedule somebody to, you know, arrange for that type of a pickup. 
Well, Love, Inc. and Mason County continues to do a lot of great work. We'll put the links in the show notes to the website, Love, Inc. of Mason County, and also on the uh, Facebook page. It's got lots of information on the different churches and um, organizations that you guys have partnered with uh, across the county to help people. What are some other ways that that folks can do some things to to help spread the word of Love, Inc., uh, share share this interview, share some share, share your web page on their Facebooks and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, so, that's for sure. That would be an excellent thing. Word of mouth is really, really helpful. Um, but Facebook is, you know, just a great social um, venue for um, sharing. So if they could do that, that would really be appreciated. Um, I also wanted to just mention quickly that our office um, is open for uh, intakes, meaning people that want that are in need. We're open to assist them, but we do have some restrictions because of the COVID um, uh, policies. But we are open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10 to 3. And then um, we'll be doing some intakes over the phone during this time anyway. But we will take some walk-ins, but they have to call and make an appointment for the walk-in. And that's only between 10.30 and 2.30 on those uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if they want, if somebody's in need, um, they can either call the office and work over the phone, or if they do need to come in, they can do that. They just need to make an appointment. So um, I want to make sure people are aware of that. 360-462-LOVE, which is uh, 5683, or loveinc.office at hcc.net. Another email address there, the website Love inc of masoncounty.org. Well, if you uh, have decided to do anything later in this year with a smaller scale fundraiser or anything like that, just uh, let me know and we'll get you on and we'll, and we'll talk about it. Okay, Jan? No, oh, absolutely. And I just want to, one last thing, I just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all the local businesses and other donors who support Love Inc. throughout the year. Um, and we are looking forward to our golf tournament and ball drop next year. So we will be in touch. And um, yeah, if anybody needs to contact us or would like to make a donation, just, you know, go ahead and give us a call or you can use our website for, for that as well. So thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate your time and, and letting us share this information um, with our community. For sure. Love, Inc. has been a, a great organization. I've really been honored to get to know it over the years. Jan Means from Love, Inc., thank you so much, and have a great rest of your day. Okay, thank you. You too, Jeff. Bye-bye. Bye.